everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I want to talk a little bit about the fundamentals of hypothesis testing. So exactly what is a statistical hypothesis anyway? Well, it's simply an assumption about the value of a population parameter. So it's an assumption about the value of the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, the population proportion. But the key is, is that this, this assumption about the value can be true or it could be false. And so what we do is we undertake this process of hypothesis testing. And this is simply a formal procedure to test the validity of the claim or the belief about the value of that population parameter. And when we're done with our testing, we're going to draw one of two conclusions. Either our data was sufficiently strong to reject the hypothesis, or our data um, presented insufficient evidence and therefore we will not, we will fail or do not reject the hypothesis. So I have a lot of my students who will ask me, well, Professor, can't we just accept the null hypothesis? And there are some researchers who say that a hypothesis test can have one of two outcomes they will either accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis. However, most statisticians take real issue with this notion of accepting the null. Instead, we stick to rejecting or failing to reject. So why is there this distinction between acceptance and failure to reject? It all boils down to the fact that acceptance implies that the null hypothesis is true. When we say we fail to reject, this imp simply implies that the data we have are not sufficiently persuasive for us to prefer the alternative over the null. It's important to remember when you undertake hypothesis testing that HO is king. In other words, the established value of the population parameter is going to be assumed to be true until we have sufficient evidence to the contrary. The foundation of hypothesis testing are these hypothesis statements, and they always come in pairs. So we have the null hypothesis, HO, and that is going to represent the current belief about the parameter's value. And then we have the alternative hypothesis, HA, and that's going to represent a challenge to the current belief about the parameter value. But they always come in pairs, HO and HA. The key to successful hypothesis testing is to properly construct your hypothesis statements. So first and foremost, HO and HA are mathematical opposites. In other words, Together, they have to account for all possible values of the population parameter. And this is kind of nice because what it results in is there only being three possible sets or pairs of hypothesis statements when we test in a single population. The first thing to remember about hypothesis statements is the direction and the number of tails in your test is determined by the value or the sign in HA. So we said they were mathematical opposites. So the opposite of equal to is not equal to, and because we have not equal to, what that gives us is a two-tailed test. In other words, the actual value could be smaller or it could be larger and so this gives us a rejection region in the upper tail of the curve and a rejection region in the lower tail of the curve. So again, we know that we're mathematical opposites, so the mathematical opposite of less than or equal to is greater than. And again, we look at the sign in our alternative hypothesis, which in this case is greater than, which means we have a one-tailed right test so our rejection region is in the upper tail of the curve. If you can't remember it, remember that this is simply an arrow that points to the right that's sending you 
to the right tail. So last but not least, we have one other option for our hypothesis tests. The mathematical opposite of greater than or equal to is less than. We go to HA to find the direction of our test. Again, this is simply an arrow that's telling us that our rejection region is in the lower tail of the curve, which gives us a one-tailed left test of the hypothesis. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.